The United Way serving Rome in Floyd County is now taking on a lead role in providing resource management for a variety of human and social needs. We remade United Way uh, four years ago, almost. Um, and so United Way at this point is not the place where we take money from all over and we distribute it out across the community. Um, at this point, we, uh, in partnership with the city, have a resource and volunteer center um, where you can come and volunteer, find out about opportunities, but also it is an entry point, um, a single access point for our community to be able to come in and sit down with someone who can help, who can talk you through whatever's going on, um, help identify resources for you, help co-create a plan for getting life back on track, and then walk alongside you to your version of success. And that is a resource to individuals who have needs, but also to those who are trying to help individuals who have needs. If you, if you need something, we want to know it. We want to know what the needs are in the community. That's how we know what's going on. That's how we know how to best team up our existing resources around it. So yes, we are very data driven as far as being community based, like what's happening now, what do you need now? So the more people that call in, I mean, overwhelmingly, do you want to show our pretty chart? Uh, this is a year's worth of calls and that big color is all around housing. Uh, difficulties with housing, which we know that, that's a thing. But also those little teeny ones, we want to know that too. Wherever the gaps are, that's where we're looking to work. Mitchell and her staff are not only serving Rome and Floyd County, but several additional counties as well. Um, so we are United Way of Roman Floyd County. We have adapted that a bit to serving Floyd County. Um, but the truth is that very close communities, Polk and Chattooga counties, come here for work, they come here for play, they come here for school, um, and vice versa. People live here and work there or work here and live there. Um, so it's only natural that those communities would also look for resources or look for volunteer oppor and engagement opportunities here in this community. So our community info line is available to Polk and Chattooga counties we only get a very small uh, portion of calls maybe around three percent added up from those two communities it's mostly Floyd County uh, but services are available there and we're trying to partner with both of those counties to help them to put together a resource list for local resources in their county um, as well. What are some of the most frequent calls that you all take in? October 21 to October 22. Um, for a full year, almost 84% of all needs called into our resource line were housing access related. And what that means is they were rent and utilities. Um, we had Georgia Rental Assistance, which doesn't exist anymore, but we were able to bring a great deal of money into our community for that. Uh, there are some homelessness calls. Um, eviction is a large thing that we get calls for. And then income-based housing, people again searching for housing. Beyond that, uh, the highest priority needs are food access. And then we have a category that's other. Um, and that's pretty much any other need that people call in for. It is a smaller portion, I think about 12% of the needs that are called in. And Allie, how do people go about getting in touch with you? So we had the option to make a really pretty website uh, with a search engine, which is great. Um, we chose instead to create a human to human connection. Most of the time people need to be heard. Most of the time we as humans need to reach another human who can be compassionate, who is local, who understands the area, who holds relationships here um, and can better relate to people. So we created uh, a community resource line just using our phone number 706-622-1990. A human being answers that phone, um, and that's a resource navigator. Our resource navigator is an expert on all of the resources that are available. They utilize our directory, which is also on our website, available 24-7 for individuals who can navigate resources on their own. Um, but if you're calling in or you're coming by and visiting our Resource and Volunteer Center, you can sit down with someone and they can hear what's going on with you and they can ask the important question of, can you tell me more about this situation? Very rarely does someone just need rent money. Very rarely do they just need help with utilities. Um, so how can we intervene and how can we, instead of sending people out to find and chase down resources, how can we bring people in-house and wrap services around them and create a real safety net and build real connections?